Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we're going to be looking at Lycaron, the Executioner. And whether I said that name or not, I don't really care. That's what I'm going to call him. Anyway, Lycaron here is a Lord Executioner. He is basically an alternate sculpt for the Lord Executioner that came in the Soul Wars box from uh, <laughs> Age of Sigmar, which I totally forgot there. And I figured I already got one Lord Executioner. Why not have two? Because with Warcry, hey... The more the merrier, right? So we're going to take a look at the parts here. Obviously, it's just the one sprue. Obviously, it was $21. I don't know if that's what I paid. But anyway, let's take a look at the parts inside. So here you see Lycaron sprue. All nice and up close. So not too many parts. Looks like we have about eight parts. Not too bad. And one thing that always worries me with these ethereal night haunt ghostly type models is how well they're attached to the base and i do like the fact that his cloak actually is attached to the tombstone that's going to go on the base uh for example the big lady alinda or whatever her name is the morgast for the night haunts i just i could not in good faith keep that model nearby because it was just a matter of time before i broke her it was a really nice model and i did actually get it painted but it just was not going to stay in one piece around me so couple little parts here we'll get them all popped out and we'll see what we're looking at and heck maybe i'll even go grab my other lord executioner and see how they compare so after cutting the parts out our first step is we're going to build the body or what's left of the body or where the body would have existed basically we need to take these three parts and attach them all together which is kind of hard if i don't glue it so i'm going to glue it now we have a nice gluey mess i didn't realize i thought that that extra little piece was supposed to go on this hand but no it actually goes across the middle and that's where we're going to attach the next part which is going to be the hands we have a choice of hands we got a bony pointy finger or we have a bony hourglass holding hand i think i'm going to go with the hourglass just because it's kind of different and it basically just kind of plugs in there and that's it and since it's covered in glue i better do that and after that it looks like it's on to the fun stuff the axe head the flaming ghostly spirits, and somewhere I put his head. I don't even know where I put it now. <laughs> uh oh. Better find that. Okay. Time to hunt. And check it out. We have, for the most part, a completed Lycaron, the executioner. We went ahead and attached his arm and his other flaming skull. And it was kind of nice on his axe. It actually attaches both at the hand and. Woo, at his wrist with the chain so it gives it just a little bit extra space to you know connect to the body and not fall apart obviously I haven't glued him onto his base he comes on a 32 millimeter base which is interesting because the actual Lord Executioner model here who is super gigantic due to his hangman's noose there he's actually on like a 40 millimeter base I believe and I mean, I guess they're about the same size or so, but anyway, this was a poor experiment with those technical paints when they were coming out with their ghostly colors, but eh, you know, he's painted. Funny enough, actually, my Soul Wars is the only box I think I painted just about every single model. Actually, I take that back. I did the original Age of Sigmar box too, along with Crawlock, or is this Crawlock? I don't remember. One of those is the Crawlock, one of those is the one that came in the Soul Wars. So just to give you a good sense. And again, much like Lady Linder, they, they're just crazy flimsy. I mean, he's like, boom, boom, boom. So thankfully, this guy doesn't seem to have that issue. He does have a nice firm base because that's where all this is attached to. I was worried this was actually going to be separate and I'd have to glue him onto the tombstone, but thankfully it wasn't. Just to give a good size indicator, here's a regular generic night haunt, and here is our Lord Executioner with him. So you should get a good sense there. And with our fun witch hunter friend as he goes out to exterminate all those ghosts because he ain't afraid of them. Uh, you can see he is a nice floaty model there. So not a ton of parts, but he looks like he's going to be a fun one to have. And honestly, I'm probably going to give a Night Haunt Warband a try, especially while we wait for the Aussie arcs to come out because I have a weird hang-up with Undead, but for some reason this is one of the few boxes that I've actually painted everything and I've even bought stuff outside of the starter so it is kind of interesting that i finally got around to getting him and hopefully he'll have some construct like bony friends in the near future so with that said this is high lord tamberling with obscurities and miniatures and i'd like to say thanks again for watching we'll see you back here probably tomorrow bye bye